Hey guys, Ms. Master one here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Alright, so since last time, I have done quite a bit of training, as you see. Um, I believe in the last part I left off at like level 37 for Cloud. Yeah, that's a huge difference in about 8 levels. Anyway, I just grinded for some more Materia levels. Um, my Restore Materia got Cure 3, which allows us to... Pre oh yeah, and Regen, which... Regen just restores our HP. If you cast it, it'll continue to increase your HP, but wears off after a little while, and Cure 3 is just the next better Cure spell. Alright. And Vincent it leveled up a little bit as well, but now let's move on. So, uh, now we got this whole side quest done, we can finally move on with the story of the game. So we're leaving Wutai, and we're never coming back. By the way, if you... You don't forget to visit, um... I already did it, I didn't show it, but don't forget to visit Turtles Paradise after seeing all six posters, so you get a few items. You get, like, every kind of source in the game, plus a Mega Elixir. It's really nice if you do that. Anyway, now you just want to head in this direction. Don't worry, you can't find any enemies right here while you're riding in this boat, so just make your way. What you gotta do here, actually, is... No, I'm going the wrong way. Um... Head how long this way? Because this part can be a little confusing if you don't know where to go. Let's see. I think it's over this way. Yeah. Over here. And you can actually like go through that little area, this little area right here, where you know the light part where the buggy was. In fact, the buggy's right over there. But we're not going to be using that for the rest of the game, really. Let's just say, but a little later in the game, we'll find a much better way of transport of transportation. Anyway, let's see. I we haven't seen this area before, but let's see. There's a house. Hmm. Better go check it out. You might be wondering why I decided to check it out randomly, but this is actually very important right now. Let's go check it. And if you tried to check this area before, no one would be here, but now there's a guy here. Keystone. What's that keystone you're talking about? Old temple somewhere. Temple of the Ancients. That sounds ominous. Would Eris have anything to know about that? Probably. Oh, it's just a legend. But who knows? Maybe it's real. Where is the keystone, anyway? Oh, you sold it. Well, who'd you sell it to? Huh, Dio. You know the guy from the Gold Saucer? He was, like, only wearing, like, a swimsuit or something. Yeah. So we gotta go visit him a little in a little while. But where is the temple, anyway? Yeah, it would be something if it was real. Ultimate destruction magic. <laughs> well, let's forget about that, actually. Now let's just change the subject. I'm interested in something here. Hmm, Mithril. We picked something... We picked up a Mithril a little while ago, back in, like, part 39, I think. So let's give it to him. That's this is the reason why you want to get the mithril, because now we can either take this box. Uh, get out of my way. Well, you can take this box and open it. Has a gold armlet in it. But if you want to be smart, come up here and check the small box. It contains Great Gospel, which is Eris's next limit break. It is her very last limit break, level four. So it's pretty helpful. If you don't know what that does, in fact, let me just switch her in real quick. I'll take Vincent out for her. And, uh, no, I do not want to save. Go back, game. Where is it? Great Gospel, and we'll use that on her. And now she knows all her limit breaks, so... We'll set that to level 4 for the next area, and she has to come in your party, so it helps. Alright, now we got all that done. We're gonna head to the Gold Saucer, so... I'm gonna say Abiento, that means see you soon in French. <laughs> but... I will see you at the Gold Saucer, so I'll cut here and see you guys then. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, and I'm back. I'm just meeting you at the entrance to the Gold Saucer to save some time. All right. So, we have heard that Dio has, you know, the guy that runs the Battle Square. Well, not really runs, but, you know, he has a showroom there. So we're going to head toward the Battle Square. Oh, yeah, and this lady can be a little important later, but... Eh. You'll see later, just trust me. Alright, now let's go up here. It's also a good time to show off, since I haven't, I haven't yet, the 
Battle Square, actually. Let's go into this room. It's Dio's showroom, so... Yeah. And there's the keystone right there, and hang on. Now, not to say anything, like, to spoil much, but make... Here's a setup for something you're gonna have to do in a sec. Have Restore. I also switch Cloud's weapons to Yoshiyuki's strongest weapon, um, at least that I have right now. Got Restore and Enemy Skill on him. Death Blow, which I'll actually get into during the next session. Ramu, just for the hell of it. Long range, so now I'm in the back row, it won't matter. And time to cast haste, or just anything if I want. Alright. Let's go and add the, the keystone. This ought to be nice. Can I grab it, please? Or can I at least examine it? Yep. It's the keystone. Yo, oh, shit, here comes Dio. I wasn't going to jack it or anything. I was just looking at it. Can I borrow this? Please? Uh-huh. Hmm, what's the condition? Entertain you. What do you want me to do, then? It's not something that's really difficult. Oh, so he wants us to find the battle arena. Yeah, that's why. So... Here we go. Since I haven't showed it off yet, we're gonna tip the battle square, so let's go. And if you if you actually beat this, you don't have to, but if you beat this, you get some extra items. Now also equip the um, white cape on cloud to make this a little easier. So here's the battle square. I'll get into what it does in a minute, but first off, it'll start off just like a regular fight, so let's cast beta to end this really fast. You're allowed to use any skills you want, but at the farther you go, the more restriction will probably appear, because this to pass, because after every fight, it's going to say if you want to keep going, your current battle points, which are BP, which you can get items with, but that's, I don't even want to worry about that now, so if you say of course, slots are going to start, and you have to randomly stop at one. Now, what you want to do here is actually, you can keep hitting square, and you can kind of see what's going to be the next, um, um, you know, slot that you pick, because depending on which slot you get depends on the effect in the next fight, so... Right here we have HP, like the HP thing that halves your HP, the level down, which puts you at le less levels, or the small cloud, which minimizes you, but since I have my white cape on, it won't really matter, because white cape protects against it. See? That's the C, and you want to have your white cape equipped for this fight also. That's the best idea. I'm just going to spam my enemy skills, it's the easiest way to win this fight. So we'll use beta again. Depending on the enemies I encounter, because this is random every time, you won't get the same amount of enemies. Or at least the same enemies in a row like this. We'll use Death Blow. And that hit, because if Death Blow successfully hits, you get a critical hit. But the accuracy is really off, or at least... Um, it has something to do with, like, um, your hit percentage. Alright. Now right here, like, let me explain this. You have your HP decrease, your, um... Accessory loss, which is that ring, and that green material, which means you can't use green material, or pretty much, like, my restore material, my time material, so I won't lose that. I should try to, I'll, t I'll take less HP any day. Or, or was, oh, maybe that was MP, I guess, that was MP, never mind. I thought that was half HP again, I guess it doesn't matter. And we'll use beta again. So these are, like, bug enemies, so I'd assume beta works really well on them. And I'm great. Also, Death Blow is a good substitute if you don't want to use your limit break. I'll also mention that. And we'll go for mini. There we go. Ah, great, these guys. Death Blow. Uh oh. Oh, that missed. Okay. These guys can be a bit of annoying, like, if they hide. Sometimes if they hide in their shell, they'll take, like, no damage. It's ridiculous. And that missed again. Death Blow again. Yeah, I missed that time, because don't expect Deathblow to hit a lot. Essentially, it's either... Well, I wouldn't say a 50-50 shot, but de depending on your um, hit percentage, depends on the odds of you getting a critical hit. Okay, so, command material. I'll lose my enemy skill material, so I'll go for mini again. And the worse the status ailment, the more points you get for winning the fight, because the game reads it at pretty much as, well... You don't have anything to protect against it, so if you get it, it's gonna think have the circumstances of how hard it's gonna be like a normal fight. Use Aqualung. 
Alright, going good so far. Got poison, so I'm gonna have to heal that off in a minute. So Aqualoon, finish you guys off. Keep going. Let's see. Oh, all materia. I don't think I have any blue materia on me, do I? No, I don't, so I'll go for that then. Hang on. There we go. Doesn't really matter. 